Hi Libra, welcome to your end of February general forecast. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Libra, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. It could be love, it could be general. We're just going to take it as it comes and see what's going on with you. So I just want to apologize for your readings being late as I've been sick with the flu the past week, which uh, left me kind of like laid up for an entire week. I couldn't even go to my daytime job and very behind on my readings, my personal readings. So please bear with me. I still have somewhat of a cough, so I may cough through this reading a little bit. So, you know, I apologize for that. So let's see what's going on with Libra at this time. This could be past, present, or future. Please only take what resonates, throw away the rest. If it doesn't fit for you, don't try to make it fit that it's not your reading. Could be something going on with someone around you. Could be affecting you in some way also. Um, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter. Libra, male, female, doesn't matter. All right, let's see what's going on with Libra at this time. I do say at this time, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, links to your playlists are in the description box, general in love, as well as the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading, tip, donate, send a gift, all that's below. And I will pin some of that information to the top comment section also. So this is a zodiac oracle. So we get a sign, element, or planet. And if you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. All right. Libra. Gemini. Fellow air sign. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. Or you got a Gemini in your chart. You know a Gemini. Family, friend, co-worker, lover. Could be anybody. All right. So let's get an opening message for you at this time, Libra. Opening message for you, Libra, at this time. What's going on? with you all right opening message for libra please spirit thank you so much that one wanted to stick in my hand not wasting any time so we have fear so there's some sort of fear here the bill be number seven seven now is about a, a, it's a very spiritual divine number so but yet you're having fear about something fear about something let's see what's going on you may be going on the right path going in the right direction but you're fearing it whatever your journey you're on so oh, i was just watching videos today um about koalas that were rescued during the um bushfires anyway <laughs> so we have inner journey koala 23 which is five which is about change so you're being spiritually led here in the right direction to make some sort of changes, changes, and you're just going on some kind of inner journey here. It could be a spiritual journey. Um, it could be a healing journey. It could be anything here. Okay. You could be discovering things about yourself. And then we have 32 here with the whale record keeper. 32 again about change. We got mirror... Mirror numbers here, 23, 32, 5, 5, change. Add that together, that's 10, which is an ending. And then there's a new beginning. So I just want to read, um, I might read a little bit about the inner journey here. 23. You are being assured that you inherently know the answers to your questions. Now is the time to start taking notice of your inner self. Your innate, innate connection to all the information of the universe. Stop looking to others for co uh, corroboration, corroboration, advice, or wisdom. Take responsibility for your own life, your own path, and your own destiny by listening to your heart of hearts. Koala says that you must start your own journey. A quest will unlock the answers you seek from a place hidden deep within your essence. The journey must begin today. Koala's healing journey is an experience of unimaginary proportions a flight beyond the boundaries of the physical body with koala your potential for growth and transformation strengthens in your sense of self escalates to fully embrace koala dreaming you must first take the responsibility for your own healing and trust that all will evolve as it's supposed to so but you're fearing this you have fear of this maybe you're used of i don't want to say people telling you what to do but you're used of the advice and guidance of others to lead you in the right direction to you know to guide you in the right direction so now you may be in the energy of needing to think for yourself 
you know, look to your inner wisdom and guidance, your intuition. And I think maybe you're fearing this. But we do have record keeper here, so I just want to read a little bit about that. The whale. Um, the vaults of creation are being opened to you, offering access to the sacred knowledge stored within. Whale is journey, journeying with you. Wow. <laughs> In a journey, the whale is journeying with you. Wow. I can't make this up. Um... guiding you back to the deep core rhythms of nature and your instinctual connection to the cycles of life. She is helping you remember your personal truth and wisdom and how to reconnect to the heartbeat of the universal mother. Whale wants you to rebirth your emotional body. Wow. Okay. And to revive yourself physically by tapping into the knowledge of your own genetic memory and personal rhythm. In doing so, you will remember the sacred bond you share with all things and you will ultimately find the knowledge to heal yourself and your family. You may even glean insight into how the rest of humanity could follow suit. Wow. So, wow. So this is a big, um, I feel like being more self-assured, self-dependent on you, yourself, your own values, your beliefs, your intuition, your own in, you know, internal guidance system. I think maybe you might be fearing that. Maybe you're used to telling, you know, people, guiding you, staring you, advising you in the right direction, and you kind of just take their advice and their guidance, and you just kind of go with that. Now you're in an energy where you may have to be thinking for yourself and following, for, you know, your guidance for yourself. And I think it's very scary for you. Wow. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. But you do have, you know, the record keep it there, which is saying, you know, you have all that within you, just to trust it, not fear it. All right, so in Libra, you are seven, and I just noticed here that the ability fear is seven. So, all right, so let's see. And the Gemini does rule the planet of Mercury, which Mercury is all about truth, communication, ideas, understanding, you know, the mind. So, okay. So let's see what's going on for you here, Libra. Libra, Libra. The Emperor. So yeah, needing Emperor, Empress doesn't matter. So you need to take control of your own life now, fo following your own inner guidance, um, instincts, intuition, being your own wise counsel. The Emperor energy, Emperor, Empress energy. Wow. So, wow, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, so fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in a better direction. So things are going to go smoothly. I think there's no no need to worry because the wheel always comes in to bring in better things. Um, it's, you know, it's destiny, fate, things get going in a better direction. You just need to trust in yourself because you are on your way to success, victory, happiness, and joy, enlightenment, healing, everything positive with the sun, happy home and family. Knight of Cups, moving forward in a loving energy. St staying in a peaceful, harmonious energy. A loving, compassionate energy, moving forward. Chariot, yeah, moving forward, and the chariot comes out. So moving forward with drive, ambition, success, balance to victory. The sun is about victory, success. Wow. So I think, you know, you're going to be fine uh, here. Yeah, maybe you're becoming independent here with the Nine of Pentacles, and that's what you're fearing, is like, now I have to think for myself. I have to do things on my own. I have to be independent, make my own decisions, and maybe, you know, you just got out of a relationship or a long marriage or something here, and now you're really needing to depend on yourself, and I think it scares you. But I think you have nothing to worry about here. All right, so Ten of Cups, so total happiness and joy, fulfillment in every single way. So heading towards your Ten of Cups. So if you just get out of a situation, I think you're still going to be happy. Strength, you have strength, courage, determination to do this. Willpower. Taming the beast from within. Taming that fear. 
Now we have the Empress. Wow, Emperor and Empress. Wow. So that's double confirmation here. Male or female watching this, it doesn't matter that you have the energy to be your own wise counsel. Double confirmation there. The Empress is right in the middle of your spread. And that is Libra. All right. What else here? Six of Rods. So again, going on to success and victory, accomplishment, accolades, attention. The star. So divinely guided energy here, healing, wishes and dreams coming true. Wow. So, wow. A lot of positive cards here. Libra, I think whatever you're fearing here, going off on maybe this independent solo journey now, having to fend for yourself or maybe even be alone, making your own decisions, that you do have the strength to go through this inner journey and be strong and successful on your own. You can fill your own Ten of Cups and be fulfilled on your own without being dependent on somebody else. Wow. So let's set some advice for you, Libra. Page of Pentacles. So this is a solid offer coming in. Or communication or a solid offer. <coughs> or something like that. So let's see what that's about. Eight of Cups. So no walking away from something no longer fulfilling for you, but walking to something more fulfilling. You're walking right to this pentacle. To a new offer. You're walking right into a new offer. You could be leaving one thing and taking a new offer. All right. So making plans and decisions here. I'm getting, be careful and don't rush into anything because you're walking away from something or you have walked out of something. It was no longer fulfilling for you. And now you have fear of being independent. Not to make a decision here, decision here to rush into something that looks stable and secure too soon out of fear of being alone. Because you see he's walking away, but that pentacle is right there and you're looking at it like, oh, you know, there's a new offer. There's somebody new. There's something looks stable over there. So they're all looking over there. I'm going to go get it. Just be careful. get one more knight of rods yeah you may decide to go after it here the knight of rods be careful if you go see something that looks stable secure it may look one way when it's really another way and the knight of rods can be a player so this could be a player energy so just be mindful of that they could be somebody that just watched you come out of something and now knows you're independent may look at you as like prey but you're not seeing it because your back is turned. But it looks stable, so you may go after it thinking, oh, here's something new and stable I can, you know, jump into here. Just be careful that, you know, Knight of Wands can sometimes be a player that you don't get taken advantage of here. Because we do all have all positive cards up here. Okay. What's the outcome for you here, Libra? The lovers, yeah, that's that Gemini energy. Sometimes a lover can be soulmate union, twin flame union, whatever, but sometimes it can also mean somebody having more than one lover. But that, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh boy, Libra. And the nine of rods, so... If you decide to jump at this person, at this, I don't know, you got the devil right in the middle. It's toxic energy. I don't think this person is good for you. But out of fear of being alone, you may jump into this and find out this person has more than one person. Or it's just a very toxic physical attraction that will lead you, leave you feeling like the wounded warrior. Feeling, you know, used and abused. So I would be mindful of that. Mm, boy. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, sadness, hurt, loneliness. So yeah, if you jump, I think if you jump into anything too soon, no matter how stable it looks after maybe becoming single out of fear of being alone, um, 
that's not going to turn out well. Th those things never work because now you have, you know, crying and being sad, lonely, and hurt kind of energy. Page of Swords. So, yeah, this is maybe doing some spying now, trying to figure out what's going on. Maybe stuck in that energy of spying, um, having to use that sword to cut away this now, speaking with truth and clarity. But we do have the King of Wands and the King of Rods and the Queen of Pentacles. But we have Tower moment here. So, again, the King of Rods could be somebody that looks in the Queen of Pentacles, King or Queen, doesn't matter. Somebody that looks stable, but they're just in the shadows here. So you don't really see the truth as the situation to see this person could be just a player. And then now we have a tower moment here of this all com coming and crumbling down. Then could be accidentally falling in love. Thinking you have your Ten of Pentacles here. But then truth and clarity comes in. And now you're needing to hold back and withdraw from this person. And then being single and solo once again with the Nine of Cups. So, <laughs> yep. And this coming to an end with the Death card. So... Yeah, I would stay clear of anything. Be independent and single and dependent on yourself for once. And go through this journey um, on your own. Because we do have Scorpio here. Uh, let's see. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Aries or Scorpio. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Leo, Sag, Aries. Uh, Libra, Gemini Aquarius. Oh, my throat. I'm sorry. <coughs> we have Aries here, Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Leo. We got Leo twice. Aquarius. What is this now? The Empress, which is Libra and Taurus. Leo, Sagittarius. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Capricorn, Gemini. So basically have all the signs here. All right. So let's get some closing messages for you here. Libra. Libra, Libra. So um, I just wanted to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal reading, tip, donate, sent a gift. Thank you. All your support really means a lot to me. We just hit over 10,000 subs not too long ago, and I plan to do a giveaway for a free private reading and a deck also in the deck you win i will also do your reading with that deck before i send it to you so i plan to make some sort of announcement video by the end of the month i'm so far behind now from being sick and if you are new libra you like my style how i read please do like share subscribe and comment i love to read the comments hit the bell you won't miss out or you can check out my channel first if you like to so we have here peace there is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully so you can have this inner peace. You may even have a child from something previously here. It maybe why could be why you have fear of being alone. But just know being alone is going to bring you this inner peace and this inner new inner strength. Strength here. You need to go through this inner journey in this um, solo for a while. I feel I'm not telling anyone what to do, but that's the energy I'm getting. We have here fertility. It's a perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, give birth to new conditions. So new condition, I feel, is being um, a solo, being dependent on yourself for once. What do we have here? Leap of faith, take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Be careful because we do have leap of faith and fertility. And with the woman holding a baby, if you jump into something new, you could end up pregnant. I'm just saying. So we have endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that the new can enter. Uh, I think it's just a new way of life, new way of being. And then we do have Guinevere here, true love. The romantic stirrings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. But I feel, I don't feel like it's going to be this next person. I feel like it's going to be you finally stepping into your power going on this solo journey alone, I feel like the Wheel of Fortune down the road will bring you your your, your person, your soulmate, your twin flame, your true love. But I don't think it's going to be this next person. I really don't. I think 
you have to go through a journey of being in solitude for a while first becoming independent in your own right before the universe will bring you your person libra okay libra and it could be a gemini that they send you down the road okay gemini uh, gemini yeah so it could be <laughs> libra best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel is to always always shine your light